I'm gonna edit this part out because you're making me laugh. Laugh? That's what I'm gonna do to laugh. Okay, I wanna open this up while I do this. How many? Oh, wait, hold on. I don't like that one. Where was your first? Hold on. I thought we were pulling out of the hat. No, you made fun of my hat. So, so now we're pulling out of a box. Yes. Yeah, so. Look, it's a BMRS box. At least you got a good one. Oh, I gotta have the address. Are we coming for you? No, that's free advertisement. Don't worry. <laughs> Where was your first 410 win? My first 410 win? I know. Win? Where? What are you asking me for? You I'm just saying. Go ahead, where? Williams Square, 2000. Wrong. Yeah. No, you're right. 2010? Probably. Yeah, because, yeah, I know, right? Weekday rainouts, we just kind of do the same thing we do every night. We're at, in the shop, either at my shop, shop or somebody else's shop, a player's shop, or your shop. Okay, so I made some of these questions for And then the weekends, Sorry. you guys make me go out to eat and spend all my money. Where do we go out to eat? Wherever you tell them. We go to Texas Red House yep. and Olive Garden. Yeah. I made some of these and I was like, some are random, but like I made these during lunch. I was really hungry. So some of my pop food. So. Which track, in your opinion, has the best food? Oh, uh, man. I used to like Grandy's Pizza, but they changed it. It sucks now. So. Because he doesn't really eat. Like, drivers don't normally eat during races. And they charged me $2.35 a slice. So, like, it makes no sense. It should have been pizza. Yeah. Answer two, the question. No, hold on. Two twenty five dollars or two fifty. Why does it got to be two thirty five? dollars But anyway, uh, probably the Williams Grove, the Chili Dogs. It's like a hot dog with hamburger barbecue on it. It's not really chilly, but good. Okay, is it frustrating watching Mason and I record with it? Yeah. Why? Well, because I know, like, you guys know what to do, because I see you do it, like, over and over again. And I, I don't know, I guess just when I watch you make mistakes, I'm, I know you could do better. And that's why I yell. <laughs> he gets me so mad. Like... We'll race on Tuesday nights, like tonight, and then Wednesday I won't talk to him in the morning. Unless you win. Yeah. All right. Um, for, if someone wants to get started in racing, like, what's the best car from the go out and buy? Like, that's like cheaper, but you can still be competitive. I'd say a quarter midget. Is that what you're talking about? Like, if you're a little older. Um. Like your 20s. Probably. I mean. Micro sprint, or maybe even one of them speedsters. I mean, they're like the most clumsiest, ill handling cars I ever drove, but for the price and what they pay, it's kind of your like best bang. The tires seem to last forever. The tires are killing them, they're too expensive and they, they don't last long enough. So, I think you know, with the tires lasting three or four races with a speedster, that's probably and then that was what this question was like, what is a speedster? Um, go it's like a cross there. between like a Modified. Yeah. Where are you going? Off the you ask me a question, you walk away. Well, I don't want to hear Sorry. Um, it's like a cross between like a, I'd say like a midget and a modified. It's basically like a modified suspension, but on an open wheel chassis. So, um, you know, Richie Tobias built it, and then they put like a spec, well, supposedly spec. Mopar four cylinder in a 2.4 liter. And do they only run in Pennsylvania? And I, I guess know. New Jersey. No, nah, they is did Bridgeport. Bridgeport. Uh, we ran down Delaware this year. What is it? What's it called? Um, I think it was. Something with a B. No, it wasn't a B. What was it called down there? Mid Middleford. Middleford yeah. Speedway. And I think they actually run in New York and Canada too. Uh, what is your most favorite car you ever ran? Like, not division, like car itself. Car itself? Uh, actually, like, the midget that I built, the new one that I got now, the yeah. thing, like, it's, like, really fun to drive. Like, I can 
put it wherever I want it to. It handles good. Um, I and think you once I get, them. yeah, once I get that new motor in there, that thing's gonna roll. What are you getting? A Honda. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Are you? Yeah, because that's what, what we were on. The yeah, Honda. but like it's got three more. I know. Cylinders. It's a lot bigger. Um, I don't really know this question either, but why is your sprint car 17B? Like, why that number? Ain't my sprint car. I don't know. You're asking. The sprint car that you drive. Or, no, you know? I asked them. The, the B stands for Buster, which I guess one of the drivers previously, that was his nickname, Buster. Oh. So they just went they 17B. You're going to ask me why it's called Outback Motorsports? Because I, I, I was always wondering that, too. Um, if you were ever, like, if you ever get offered a full-time, like, full ten, Ford 10 ride with the Outlaws or anything, and you're not in the 17B, would you do it? Without a doubt. You would leave us? Temporarily. Okay, good job. Temporarily. Uh, what is like your most remem I can't say this word. Rememberable race. You Remember? <laughs> That's why you don't go do the virtual school right I, there. I was happy on virtual for a couple of months. Yeah, well it shows. Okay, what is it? My most what? You know what it is. What what was the question? What <laughs> you know the question? You just said Come it. Come on, answer answer. I don't know. Question. Here, what is, no, it. I spelled it wrong. <laughs> what is your most memorable? Memorable. Forget the re on it. No re. What's the best race you ever won <laughs> and why? Um, I mean, I, I don't know. There's two of them. The, the, the first 410 race because I should have had probably 10 wins before we won that one. We had the motors blow up, tires break, rear. Like, there's always I something wasn't born that. Yet. Yeah. And then uh, the uh, my first uh, USAC win. Well, okay, I know this question. What? Which that was the same way. There was probably six races we should have won prior to that. Uh, engines and then like having bleeders stick with a couple laps to go, and uh, we just kept giving them away. And then like you know you finally get the win. It's like. What was like the worst race you ever lost? And I think I know, but. There was two of them too. The one at Williams Grove? One at Williams Grove when we were leading the National Open. Chris went and took it? No, that... <laughs> no. That one sucked, too. But, no, we were leading the National Open, and uh, I broke a rocker, and it allowed Raymer to get by us. <coughs> and uh, I, I actually got back by him and started pulling away, and then I think with, like, five to go, there was a yellow. Mm -hmm. It was the year Freddie won the National Open. He wouldn't have won that son of a bitch if I didn't break that engine. I'm sorry. All right, I have three more. And this one's about food, because, again, I was eating lunch. <laughs> Do you like Chick-fil-A or McDonald's better? Chick-fil-A. McDonald's sucks. It used to be good. I like their French fries, too. We stopped there on the way to the shop to get, like, the breakfast sandwich, and it looks like a slider. It's, like, this big. Um, how did you get your 410 ride? Like, how did you meet Claire? Why did he want to meet you? From running midgets, we ran at Williams Grove, and, uh, I wound up crashing and going to the back, and then I drove back up to second, and I guess he was in between drivers, and he just called. He's like, hey, do you want to drive my sprint car? And I thought it was a 358, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll drive it. I'm like, where, where at? And he's like, well, we'll start at Port Royal. And then I'm thinking, I'm like, damn, all they got is 410. So I was like, what, what car do you got? And he said, it's 17B. And uh, I was like, whoa. It's a 410, so, yeah, that, that's how I got it. All right, I have, well, I have one more, but I have another one that I found that's really good, because I think You're making it up. No, I'm serious, it's right here. What, like, since you started racing, what are the, like, two major things that have changed with, like, tracks and all that? Um, the main thing two is main things are the cost. The cost is, like, escalating and outweighing the purse, like, heavily. And it, it and it's it keeps getting worse, you know. Like when I got into this, what when did I start driving for Claire? Well, it's fifteen years. Fifteen so. years ago, um, you know they were paying I think thirty four hundred to win, and a new engine was forty two grand. Now they're paying thirty six hundred to win, and a new engine seventy grand. That's really expensive. Yeah, so like it's just the the cost and. Um, Lack of tech, like they don't tech shit, and it, and it gets me mad because you don't know whether you're getting beat or you're getting cheated, you know. Um, 
Especially for like when the um, All Stars or Outlaws come. Well, out. just a, a, any race in uh, Port Royal. If, you, if you, as long as you cross the scale and you're good, that's all. They they don't check nothing. Williams Grove, I mean, at least they, they'll come down, that they'll check your weight. They'll do fuel. They'll check your fuel, and they'll pump. But I'm not I'm not so sure that pump's legit either. Like, there's too many ways around it. And, uh, you know, I got, I, I, I offered some advice to the tech guy to do it legit. Mm -hmm. um, whether they take, you know, whether they do it right or not, I, I, I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, not, not that I'm saying, like, this guy's cheating or that guy's cheating, but the amount of money we're spending. I mean, you go race your quarter midget yeah. for a trophy. And people. And we're in the tech. You got to go through tech. You know, and they, 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 and they, they strip it down. They check, yeah. So, you know, you go to Williams Grove and win 75 grand. They don't, even, they don't, they don't look at nothing. But my thing is they, they cheat in quarter midgets, go-karts, soapbox derbies, remote control cars, Pinewood derbies. Robot. The robots. Every form of motorsports you could think of, they, they, they're, there's funny shit going on. But for some reason, oh, they won't do it in sprint cars, you know. So nobody, uh, they, they just don't. They, it's kind of like a free for all, you know. And then here we are, growing up, playing by the rules, and we're still, you know. I, I just feel that sometimes we're getting cheated instead of beat. And then the last question, which I don't know if you even have it, but. Growing up, like, what was who was someone you looked up to in racing? If you had someone, I like Billy Patch, honestly, because he, uh, like, he could any any car he got in, he was fast. It didn't matter whether. It was um, I was rewatching the video from earlier, and I realized I never like did a video part saying goodbye. So, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I had fun doing it with Dad, and I actually learned a couple things that I didn't know. And I hope you guys learned a couple things as well um let me know like what videos you want because it definitely helps out and i do these not only for me but for you guys oh i'm hitting the adjuster for the c i'm wondering why it's making noise but um thanks for watching and i hope you have a great day